Hi guys and welcome back to Rachel's Enchanting Cakes. Now today I've got another beginner tutorial for you. We're going to be doing this adorable version of Gizmo. I've used very simple shapes, very simple techniques, so it's great for all you hobby bakers out there. If you like what you see, please do subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and let's make a start. I do now have some new technology, so this tutorial has been done with a voiceover. It just means that I'm able to edit the tutorial an awful lot better, and then you get to see absolutely everything, but also you can hear me talk you through what you need to do step by step. Happy baking guys, and as I always say, I will be back soon with an awful lot more new content. Here I have baked an eight inch square Victoria sponge cake. I have a delicious recipe for this, and I will leave a link for it to you in the description below the video. Here I have just drawn a very simple image of Gizmo. It's this simple outside shape of the face that you're going to need to draw. I have then drawn this in an eight inch square, just on a piece of paper. If you just look at the shape, it's quite like a love heart shape, but wider and more oval. It's a very, very simple shape to create. I have then sketched this onto some baking parchment just by placing the baking parchment on top of my drawing. This is what we are now going to cut around using a sharp knife. You're going to save all of your excess cake and place it into a bowl or a plate. Using a leveler, you now want to simply cut the cake in half. You do this using the backward and forward motion and take your time. Now we want to fill the cake. Start by placing a layer of buttercream on the base. I have a delicious recipe for this which I will leave a link for you below this video. You then want to place a rim around the outside of the cake. Taking some jam, fill the center of the cake. Be very generous with your filling and the rim that you have just added with the buttercream will stop this jam from leaking out. Using the leftover buttercream, simply pipe over the layer of jam. Now, taking a palette knife, simply smooth over this layer of buttercream before applying the rest of the cake. Now we need to crumb coat all of the sides and the top of the cake. In order to do this, just use your leftover buttercream, pipe on a very small amount, and then using the palette knife, you simply smooth it out. You want to do this for the sides and the top of your cake. Whilst my crumb coated cake is in the fridge going all nice and firm, you want to take some leftover cake and some leftover buttercream. Start by turning the cake into crumbs just using your fingers. Now simply add the remaining buttercream and give it a good stir. Using my drawing as a guide, we now want to add the area where the mouth is going to be using the crumbs and both of the eyes. In order to do this, again, I have just traced them all onto some baking parchment. I will then place these pieces of baking parchment directly onto the cake and using a sharp knife, just go around each one and create an indentation so I know exactly where to place the crumbs. Now, taking the crumbs that we have made, you want to 
fill in the areas where you have just placed those indentations. Whilst my cake is back in the fridge, here I have one kilogram of white fondant and a 14 inch square cake drum covered with water, a large rolling pin. These are what are called spacers. I will be able to roll my fondant in between these so it is exactly five millimeters thick. Icing sugar, simply sprinkle your surface and start rolling out your fondant. You want to try and keep this in a square shape. Using your rolling pin, simply lift up the fondant and gently place over the drum. You will then need to use your smoother, smooth out the surface and using a sharp knife, cut off any excess. Using the leftover white fondant from the cake drum, I now want to prepare the colours that are going to be used on the rest of the cake. Here I have the rainbow dust brown and the sugar flare chestnut. You're going to need more chestnut colour, so just put a small amount of white fondant to one side. And taking your sugar flare chestnut and a cocktail stick, simply apply a small amount to the white fondant and knead in. So this is the colour that you're aiming to achieve, however Gizmo's nose is an awful lot darker. In order to do this, you simply take a small amount of the fondant you've just coloured and add extra food colouring and then leave this to one side for later use. So these are the colours you're wanting to achieve and we now want to colour the remaining white fondant brown using the Rainbow Dust Brown Colour Gel. These are the colours you want to end up with. We are now going to add our refrigerated cake to our decorated cake drum. Simply remove the cake from the baking parchment and due to it being in the fridge and all that buttercream being lovely and hard, you will be able to physically move it onto that drum, adjust it where you want without causing any damage to the actual cake. If we just take a look at the picture again, we're now going to work on the eyes. I want to add the white part of the eyes first. Simply take some white fondant, dust down your work surface and roll it out so it's relatively thin but not too thin. All you need to do now is cut this in half and what we will be doing is simply picking up the piece of fondant, placing it directly over the eye, smooth it out with your fingers and then cut off the excess fondant around the outside with a sharp knife. It's a very simple process, very easy to do and simply repeat this for both eyes. Using the same process that we did with the white fondant, we're going to be covering the mouth and the rim of both eyes, both the base and the top. Taking a small amount of your chestnut fondant, simply repeat the process that we just did with the eyes. We're just going to be sticking them directly on top, then using a sharp knife, cutting away any excess fondant. Taking a Dresden tool or a cocktail stick, now create an indentation in the top of the mouth to make Gizmo smile. Again, for the eyelids, both the base and the top, we just want to repeat this process. So roll out the chestnut fondant, cut out a rough shape with the knife this time before you actually apply it. Then once it's on the eye, simply cut away any excess fondant. Simply repeat this process 
for all of the eyelids. Now we want to create Gizmo's nose using the darker chestnut colour. For this I'm just going to use my hands to shape it and the ball tool. You want to start by rolling a sausage shape and placing in there two indentations. You then continue to shape the nose until it's the right size and shape for your cake. When you have added this to your cake using the smaller end of your ball tool, simply push it in either side of the nose in order to create some nostrils. Now we want to add the remaining part of the eyes. Very, very simple. Taking your brown fondant, you just want to roll out two balls, roughly the same size, one for each eye. Then repeat this process both with some jet black fondant, which I find is best to buy rather than colour your own, and also a very small amount of white. In order to add a little bit more definition to the actual eye, if you roll out some jet black fondant into very thin sausage shapes and then just wrap this around the brown eye colour. Finally, taking a very small amount of the white fondant, simply add this to the black pupil on each eye. I just want to add a basic guide to my buttercream cake just so I know where I'm actually going to be doing the fur. So using a Dresden tool and my drawing as a guide, I'm just going to place small indentations into the buttercream so I know where to pipe my different colours. As you can see, I have already added one of Gizmo's ears. These are really easy to make. I'm just going to be using my hands and creating a very simple shape. Start by taking your leftover chestnut fondant and you want to roll this out so it's thin, but it's not too thin. Try and keep this in more of an oval shape whilst you are rolling it because we are literally then going to be picking this up placing it onto the 14 inch decorated cake drum and simply shaping this with our fingers. Once you have got the shape exactly how you want it take it off the drum and this time place it upside down in order to get those lines in the actual ear, just take some white fondant, roll them into sausage shapes and then stick them with some edible glue onto the underside part of the ear that will be actually touching the cake drum. This way they will come through lovely and you'll have those lovely lines that Gizmo has in his ears. Now we are ready to add the fur. We are going to be using some brown buttercream and some white buttercream. For the brown, I have coloured this using the Rainbow Dust Brown Gel Colour. I am also using a Gem 233 Piping Nozzle. This is the small grass nozzle and will be available worldwide. Some people struggle with piping but it's relatively easy. I've just used my batch of buttercream which works beautiful. If you want the recipe again it is in the link below this video. Simply just push and pull. Use both hands to control the piping bag and fill it where we have drawn those lines as a guide. Off camera, I am going to continue to pipe the sides of the cake again where my guides are. 
and as you can see there is plenty of buttercream left in order to do this. Now it's time to add the white buttercream. Now to make this more white I have used the Sugar Flare white food colouring and I'm simply just going to fill in the remaining areas exactly the same way I did with the brown fur. And how simple was that everyone and look how adorable he is to make. I hope I've encouraged you all again today. I'll be back soon with an awful lot more new content so stay tuned and happy baking guys. If you do give this guy a little go, please feel free to share him with me. You can do this via my website, you can do it on Facebook because I love to see your creations and sometimes they do get featured along with your business as well. Happy baking everyone and I'll be back soon.